everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages on the Nintendo Switch. We are approaching the end of the game now and the final boss fight I believe we probably are going to face Ganon today, um, the Evil King. But first we have a couple of chores to do because we can't really go into a boss fight without getting a potion so we need to source that which means we need to get some rupees and also we're going to try and get the level 3 ring box by um, doing some of the secret passwords by linking the game so I had to look up how to do it um, but we're going to do that today and basically we're going to talk to the right people transfer between ages and seasons to get the ring boxes and then we should be able to take five rings into the final battle. So hopefully, yes, the grandmother is here. You're Mori, the one who saved Holodrum, right? So referencing seasons, this is. Fate must have brought us together here. Will you hear my request? Okay, so yeah, of course we'll hear the request because this is where we're going to get the password. Do you remember Mayor Rule back in Holodrum's Horn Village? I want you to tell this secret to Mayor Rule, understand? Yes, the secret is NL up plus uh, G, I think. Okay, we've got it. Uh, don't forget, okay, so we've got the, the secret. This is for the ring box. If I read this correctly, because this does get a little bit confusing when you link uh, ages and seasons, but I think this is the password for the larger ring box in seasons. And then we should, in exchange, get a... Um, a code to bring back to ages to get the larger ring box in ages so let's head over to seasons okay we've come out of the shop in seasons and i believe we just need to head over to the let me get this right the mayor's house i think which is somewhere in the top corner of the village. We should be able to, what ring box have we got in seasons? We have the level two ring box already. So let's go ahead and speak to the mayor. Need anything? Yes. Oh, here we go. So we need to do a lowercase n, uppercase l, up. Uh, where's the plus? And then lowercase g. And that should be the password. Oh, we've unlocked something. Goodness. It's a message from my friend in Labrina. Thanks so much. I'll make it so you can carry even more rings. Let me see your ring box. Huh? Yeah. Uh, how's that? You got the bigger ring box. It can hold five rings. So that's good for seasons. Um, uh, and I'll teach you the secret to carrying more rings in Labrina too. Oh, and there's our password. That's a strange one. Circle, B, H, heart, and then, what is that, a bracket? Did you get it? Yes, thank you. Ask me again if you forget the secret. Okay, awesome. And that's all we needed to do in Seasons. Uh, we should have the level 5 ring box now. Yes, there we do. There, there it is. So we can hold two more rings. Um, and we also have the secret. So let's head back to Ages now. Thank you for bearing with me. Let's head back to Ages now. And we are back at the house here where the grandmother was, um, who gave us the first secret for Seasons. And we still have, of course, the level two ring box here. And I think, do we have to go to, we have to go to the Oracle of Secrets for this one, don't we? Which should be inside the Maku tree. So that didn't take as long as I thought it would, so that's pretty cool. But it will just be worth it, hopefully, to take a couple of extra rings in to whatever fight we've got coming up. I am Ferrare, uh, the Oracle of Secrets. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. I can give shape to powerful secrets that I remember. Do you know the secret to moving through time? Yes, I do. This is the secret that we're doing today. This always confuses me, that bit of dialogue, because it's almost like she's asking for a specific secret. So what was it? Circle B, lower H, heart, because it does look like a strange password. And then it was a bracket. And then there we go. And it's unlocked something. You got the level three ring box. Why is it called a bigger ring box in seasons, but a level three ring box in ages? That's a bit weird. It can hold five rings. Your secrets have called forth new power. Come again anytime. 
Okay, I don't know if there's any other secrets that might be worth doing, but this is the only one I can think of that would be very practical going into it. So let's go and choose two more rings. You never know. I don't even know what the boss is going to be like fighting Ganon. I'm sure we've got some mini bosses as well. Um, so we're just going to have to have a bit of an educated guess, but we'll take some rings with us anyway. Uh, do come in! Welcome to Vasu Jewelers! We need to look at our ring. We don't have any rings to get appraised. So we take him in the no explosion ring if holding bomb. I always find that's a good one to have because if you have to time a bomb explosion, it's a little bit easier. Uh, the heart recovery is an absolute must. Even if the boss is like going crazy, you might get a heart or two back. Protection ring, I think, is going to be good because it damage taken is always one ring. Uh, one heart, sorry. So... If the boss is dealing like two heart or three heart damage, that's a great ring to put on. So let's choose a fourth ring. Friendship ring, these don't really mean anything. Sword damage up and damage taken up. Not very good for us, I don't think. Uh, sword damage, we, maybe we can carry one of these if we can't find any other ring. So sword damage is double. That might be a good one if we're good at avoiding attacks. It's a shame we can't wear two rings at once. Um, damage taken down, sword damage, uh, damage, damage, sword damage down as well. Uh, we've got damage taken equals half. That's quite a good one, but we have the protection ring, so that's probably always say better. We have the curse ring. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would want to wear that. Maybe you want to do like a, a challenge, maybe and wear that one. Uh, that might be good for a challenge video. Go through some of the bosses with the cursed ring on. Bomb damage is up. That might be a good one to fall back on. We've got so many rings. Steadfast ring, get it knocked back less. Toss ring, thrown distance is up. That might be also a good one. Sword beams at level minus two, sorry. So, again, that's an okay one. These ones, half damage from traps. I don't know what we're going to encounter. Half damage from beams, half damage from spike floors. No damage from electricity, no damage from Zora's fire. Those are kind of better for dungeons, I think, and when we're trying to find dungeons. We've got a lot of rings here. No damage from small rocks. I don't think any of this stuff is going to be in a final boss. Crack floors. No sinking in quicksand. Beast drop double rupees. That might be good to have while we're trying to get enough for... Um, that might be good while we're trying to get enough for a potion. Beast drop double hearts. Oh. No, beast. They're not going to do it in boss fights, are they? Find double ore chunks, which is a weird one because I don't think you can find ore chunks in this game. Become a subrosy. Become a like-like. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Um, discover soft earth. That's a good one if you want to do any post-game stuff. We've got the Slayer's Ring. Useless. <laughs> no effect from Jinxes. I still don't know what Jinx is. Grow great Geisha seeds. The Peace Ring, we've got no exposures. That's a good one to have. Dive Red Breathing, we don't need it. We've got the Mermaid Suit. Punch, we're not equipped. Not very good. Sword Damage Down, but sometimes deadly. And then the Perfect Ring. Okay, so I think the Rupee one is a good one to have. And so it's going to be between maybe a double sword damage. If we find there's one where we can avoid the attacks, that might be good. Or what was the other one? The blast, the bomb damage up, or throwing further. Is it this one? Toss ring. So it's between toss ring, throwing distance up, blast damage up, or sword damage double. I think we've got the master sword. I don't know. I mean, damage in a double master sword would be good, but damage taken also up. Uh, do you know what we're going to risk it? I'm going to take the double damage just to see. Um, it might be a good one to have. If we need to, if we find that the bosses has something where we need to throw or a bigger bomb blast, we can come back and swap out the rupee ring. Um, so yeah, those are some good good rings to have, I think. We'll put on the rupee ring because we, we need to get 300 rupees because the next task is to head to the witch's lair. I think it's here, isn't it? Serious potion shop, so it's in the graveyard. I can't remember how to get there, but we're gonna work our way there anyway. Um, I don't think we can get through that way, can we? So we'll head around, cut through the Maku tree. We need to fight some beasts anyway before we get there, so actually we could probably do some digging along the way. It's gonna take a little minute probably to get, we need 120, I think potions are 300 bells. Uh, 300 rupees. Oh, here we go. Maybe we'll get a potion now. That would be so good if we got a potion now. No, no potions, just lots of bombs. We might be able to pick up some rupees. Ah, 
Ha, we got the bomb just before. There we go. So that wasn't brilliant, but we got some extra rupees that might save us a little bit of time. But we've got the ring equipped, so I think if we fight anyone... Wait a minute, how do we get to... This is the wrong way, isn't it? How do we get to the graveyard? Okay, so only need 100 rupees. Getting all the fairies. Oh yes, right back at the start of the game. Whoa, hey! I'm going to be a princess! Oh yes, you got the bow, that's right. Okay, the graveyard is through here, so there should be some beasts in here. That we can slay. I don't think there's any more items to get. It's funny because the item screen is still plenty of room. I don't think there's any secrets left to get here either. There are three more pieces of heart to collect and I don't know... Um, what happens if we complete another heart container? I don't know if it's worth doing it to see if we can go in with an extra heart container or if we've already maxed out. Right, let's have a look. Is that where's we need some people to fight? Yeah, we may as well plant something here. Uh we've we've been all here, so we're not going to find anything that we need to do probably. I thought there would be some more enemies though. If we could just find a big rupee. That would be useful. We might, there might be a potion inside a geisha tree, but I can't remember where all the trees are that we planted. There we go, that was a big rupee. So halfway there, it won't take too long, it's just a little bit of a grind for rupees. Because we have spent a bunch, we didn't think this through, we, we ended up buying heart pieces and geisha seeds. But I think digging is the next best thing to finding rupees. 40 to go, getting so many fairies, whoa! The double rupees ring isn't actually that good because <laughs> obviously you need the enemies but then if they just drop one rupee you're only getting two so even though it is double it kind of I feel like it should be times ten or something okay oh there it is I'm not sure we've even been in there Hey, hello there. Do you believe in what you see? If you do, I'll teach you something. Do you? Yes. I'm Holodron's... Oh, in Holodron's graveyard, there is but one grave with no flowers. If you tell the one inside the grave the secret I'm about to tell you, something good will happen, understand? Okay. The secret is N, L, up, minus F. Got it? Nice. Good luck. Oh, I wonder what that is. Probably it's not going to be useful for in ages though, I, I don't imagine. Attack me! I love having a beam on the Master Sword as well. I think we got, before we go to the boss fight, we're going to have to swap out the Rupee Ring, I think. It probably hasn't saved as much time as I thought it would. We only need 14 more. It's probably because we haven't faced many enemies, to be fair. There we go, 12 more. If we could just get two big ones. 
Could be good. Yeah, I can't remember if we've been inside the syrup sh shop yet. Oh, there we go. We've got enough. Any secrets in the waterfall? No. There we go. Can we take this, please? Magic potion, 300 rupees. That syrup's magic ointment works great when your hearts run out. It's probably a must going to face Ganon, isn't it? But there go our, our rupees. You got a magic potion. It kicks in when you run out of hearts. It does it automatically, so. Hey, little chicken. Okay, I'm assuming she just restocks potions, yeah. Okay. Why is there a bomb flower there? Is there anything else we need to do in here? I don't think so, is there? Right, let's head back, change our rupee ring, because that didn't really do anything. Well, it did. It doubled the rupees, but we didn't really encounter that many, so hardly, hardly worth the time. Um... I wonder if you get a ring for um, destroying the signs in this game. Like you do in, I think there's one of those in in Seasons. Keep having to remember what game we're playing. Oh no, how do we get back? <laughs> okay, we made it. Uh, right, we'll swap out our rupee ring for, I think, bomb damage up. Or should we throw bombs further or bomb damage up? Bomb Throwing bombs further means we can be further away, but bomb up means if we are relying on bombs, it, uh, we might not need to throw as many. I think we're going to go for bomb damage up. So, power ring, sword damage up, just kind of experimental ring we'll take with us. I don't, we take a lot of damage as we're not very good defensive players, so that might not be a good ring to have, but we'll take it for an experiment anyway. We've got the uh, blast ring, protection ring, which is going to be great, I think. Uh, heart recovery and no explosion. Okay, good. Right, let's uh, put on our recovery ring for now. And where do we need to go again? I've totally forgot. Oh yeah, through the portal. Um, okay, well I'm going to save. Because you never know what's going to happen. I don't want to lose the se link secrets that we've done. So we'll just quickly save. And we'll head through the portal. Okay, room of right. So we're back here. Oh, every, everyone's going crazy. Is Ganon in here? Is this just a maze? Oh, it's a maze. They don't even, they're not even watching us. Okay, is there a certain direction that we need to go here? It's like the Lost Woods. Okay, was someone supposed to tell us where to go? I'm just going to keep swapping rooms to see if anything happens. Oh, it just takes us back to the start. That's so strange. We need an owl to tell us where to go. These definitely don't move, do they? Huh. Oh, we can't even talk to the Maku tree at the moment without leaving. Okay, we're going to have to go and find... What are these on the wall? Are they eyeballs? Okay, someone must have said something along the way. Help us! The eye of deceit won't affect you, Mori. I'm sure of it. What does that mean? The Eye of Deceit. So, 
Is this a, an order? So up, down. I think these are. Is, are they looking? Are they looking in a certain order? So up, down. But we tried that, didn't we? Right, I've taken a photo of the screen. Let's go. So the order of the eyes. So this one is up. So if it's left to right, top to bottom, up, down. It, we, that doesn't work already. As soon as we go down, we go back. So up, down. Hmm. Let's see, the order, is the order the same? Oh no, the order's different this time. Okay. Um, let's try this one. So it goes right. Left. Um, it's changed again. But I'll, I'll follow. This is down. It's going to reset, isn't it? Oh, what is this? Is it to do with how many eyes are up? So one, how many eyes are up? So one, two, three eyes up, four eyes up. One, two, three, four eyes up. One, two, three eyes right. Um, one, two, three eyes down. No eyes left. So we have to go, I think we have to go left. Okay, so I, is this going to be the same? Okay, there's none looking right, so eyes are deceit. They're trying to look where we need to go, I think. So they're trying to look not where we actually need to go. So right. I don't know how many times we do this before we give up. None of them are looking up, so we're going to go up. Looking up, looking down, looking right. None of them are looking left. Um, oh, no, oh, one's looking down, one's looking left, up, none of them are looking right. How long do we do this before it's, before we get lost? None of them are looking up. Gotta be it, hasn't it? Yes, we figured it out, I was so proud! I, I was just guessing there, it was either gonna be the most looking in the most direction, or the fact that there was none looking in a certain direction. We did it, that's so cool! I'm so proud that we figured that out relatively quickly. Okay, there's nothing to do in here. This is just a random room. Okay, Whew. moment of truth. Oh, it's Zelda. Oh, this is the room. Oh no. So, Mori, you finally reached the altar, brother. We can't have you scampering about up here so we've dragged you in here oh it's twin rover where's here is it like a basement the flames of sorrow destruction and despair burn brightly the return of the evil evil king ganon approaches the holy sacrifice Zelda is all that remains when we call ganon's spirit into the vessel it will be done you can't stop us prepare to meet your doom oh so we have to fight these first i guess that's obvious uh, what's happening? Earthquake! Is that the sacrifice beginning or...? Oh, oh no! Right. Oh, we hit it! Oh, I think it was the ball that hit it. Oh, it's the opposite ball. But we have to... We have to deflect it. we just stay here? Did we find a little gap? I think if we stay in a corner, they can't get us because we can just keep deflecting. Yeah, any corner would probably do. It's just, this is pure luck. How are you supposed to aim this? I think the blue one has to hit the red one. Yeah, they're not attacking us and our hearts should be healing in a minute as well. Wait, did we put the ring on? Yeah, the ring's on. I'm gonna try a different corner. 
I think if we stay in a corner, we can just deflect, keep deflecting these. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Why isn't our hearts healing? And they're not healing in the final battle. The recovery heart isn't working. Okay, this is a little bit weird. Is there another way to do this? Maybe we should try and aim. Right, we've lost two hearts, but our hearts aren't recovering for some reason. There we go. Oh, I did not think you would get so far, but I shall not fall like Onox and Varan. See my true power. Oh no. What's the true power gonna be? What is that? They've merged. We sacrifice you so the evil king can return. Okay. Whoa! Okay, we've been teleported. Okay, lava. Now how do we... Okay, it's just a sword fight. Oh, I fell in the lava. Oh, we teleported back. Whoa, an ice room! Okay, we're hitting it. It's just a sword fight. It's okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to jump. Do we need to do... Yeah, if we do some spin attacks... Oh. Here we go, spin attack as soon as you land. It's hard to know when to hit it. Has it got armor up at some point? I'm try to uh, spam, the, spam the sword. Oh, I keep falling in the thing. Yes, give us some hearts, please, bats. Okay, we should do a spin attack as soon as we land. Wow, how many attacks is, does this take? How is this so strong against our spin attacks? Oh no, we're gonna use our potion before we're even... I'm starting to think this isn't affecting it. Um, let's try the seed shooter. We had... It would make sense if we had an ice shooter, wouldn't it? Maybe bombs? Bombs is hurting it as well, so I think maybe we just use some bombs. Right, our potion's kicked in, so that's not good. Um... It's just taking attacks. Nothing is working. We're going to have to try. Okay, we're going to have to try something different. Hookshot, maybe? No. Oh, those ice things. Okay, let's try. No. I thought the flame would work. Um, what else? We don't have any other, we don't have any other stuff. Surely it's not taking this. It should not be taking this many attacks. I don't really understand why it's not taken. 
Yeah, it's definitely not so what is what are we not doing here? It can't just be the bombs, can it? We can't lift it up. We're not getting any bombs back. Normally if it's Normally if it's the bombs, we'd be getting bombs back somehow. Oh, is it that? No. Mystery seeds. So we've got a mystery seed. Wow. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're so dead. Oh, wow. That is crazy. So we got a mystery seed though. So I'm gonna only assume that it's a, well, there goes our potion and our hearts. That's annoying. Um, right, that is really annoying. Um, so it's gotta be the mystery seeds, hasn't it? Oh, right, is there a fairy cave around here somewhere? It's going to be annoying to keep going and buying potions, but maybe we could try... What we should have done is save the potion until we know how to take them down. So I think that we must have to hit it with a mystery seed first. Um, I'm guessing. We tried a fire seed, but it didn't do anything. But it makes sense that it would be a mystery seed. Right, so let's see here. No one is looking to the left. No one is looking... To the left again. This changes every time. This is a pretty cool one, but we've figured out this mechanic. No one is looking to the right. No one is looking to the left. And this one should be up, I think. No one is looking up. No one is looking up again. And still no one is looking up. Right, we found it. Okay, so we haven't got any potions. But I think we might have a bit more of an advantage now just because we know it's not going to be bombed. It's not going to be the sword. Um, oh, I forgot. Is this the... F oh, yes, we need to do the first form first, don't we? How many forms has Twin Rover got? Right, okay. I wish we could skip this. This was always, the final boss was always going to take us multiple attempts. Um, right, let's get in a corner. We're just going to have to do this until... Weird that the rings don't work though. Right, let's, let's count how many hits this takes. Oh, that was close. We should be able to do this bit without getting hurt. So, still only one hit. I don't know how you're supposed to necessarily aim these. It's kind of just luck, isn't it? Yeah, as long as we don't get hit by them. There we go, two hits. 
Maybe three hits is fair, I think, when we rely on this much on luck, because there's no way you can aim these. Yeah, three hits. Okay, we did it without taking a damage by staying in a corner. And now we need the mystery seeds that we haven't got many of. So we have to do it when... Maybe when... This is so hard! Okay, we need to be able to jump and... Um, fire these, I think. I can't tell if it's doing anything. doesn't seem to be doing anything. Wait, are we definitely using mystery- yeah, we are using mystery seeds. Okay, I just looked it up and we- we do have to keep um, we have to keep hitting it with the sword until it goes back into the red and blue form. And then, at this moment... Okay, I'm not very good at this. So we have to hit her, or them, in... with the sword multiple times until... It, it goes out of the ice or the lava form, back into the dual red and blue form, and then that's when we shoot with the sword, uh, with the seed shooter. So the seed, this does nothing. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to take so many attempts. Right, we need more hearts. Wow, so this is already our third attempt. So yeah, basically we need to hit Twin Rover with the sword, which is what we were doing, until it goes back into its kind of split personality when they're together and they're red and blue, and then use the seed shooter. The sword damage, all it does, according to the, uh, the website, is that it forces Twin Rover back into the red and blue state and that's the time that we can damage it but only with the seed shooter which is really tough. Alright where's these uh, fairies that we need? Alright there we go so we've got enough hearts we're gonna keep going and practice I think because yeah we may as well keep practicing before we get a I would at least like to get to Ganon, I think, before buying a potion again. Right, no one is looking up. This is good to get through now. We can look pretty quickly. So down, left, up. So we're going to go left. So we just go whichever opposite way is. So right. Down, left, up. Right again. Uh, down, left, up, right again. It will always end on an up, won't it? So this is up, down, right. So we've got to go left. <laughs> and then this one's good. Yeah, this one's going to be an up. Oh, here we go. I thought we were going to have two ups in a row, but only one up. Okay, so yeah, we have to go through this kind of uh, intro every time, which is a bit strange. But we can get through the first form pretty quickly. Twin Rover. I'm not even sure what they are. 
like goblins or something. Did I miss where they described what they were? Oh, I took damage. <laughs> It's a bit annoying that our rings don't work. Is it because it's like the darkness, the power isn't working? We've definitely got it set, haven't we? That means our protection ring isn't going to work. Wait, does the bomb ring work? Right, let me just test the bomb ring. The bomb ring works. Why isn't the protection ring... Not the protection ring. Why isn't the heart ring recovery working? So we only need to hit these three times. It's just a little bit random, actually. And it's got to be the opposite from what I can tell. If we stay on these tiles, they don't actually run into you, I don't think. The outer tiles. It's so hard to di direct it in a certain direction anyway. I wonder if we go straight into the Ganon fight. There you go, there's one hit. Two hits. See how random it is. There's no way you can accurately deflect these in a, a particular direction. One more here. I think it's just either of them. That one's throwing twice as many as the other one. Oh no, that one just did two as well. There we go, three. I didn't see what colors we did. I think we, one of them we did twice, I'm guessing, because we only did three hits. Right, so now, so we don't have many, See, we've got some scent seeds as well that might work, and fire seeds. I don't think the gale seeds or the pegasus seeds will work because they're kind of like functional seeds. Uh, but to start with, we'll just try and dodge attacks. Oh, so whilst it's in, yeah, so whilst it's in a, a state of flux. so hard. So th uh, three hits. Oh, I missed a chance. That's so bad. Um, so let's just try. So one hit. I want I hope they don't expire. Two hits, three hits. Right. It's in, a, in its state. So we'll shoot with the mystery seeds. Right. We've hit damage. Can we do it again? Oh. Yeah, we are never getting through this. This is so hard. So it's four hits into the seas. This is going to take a lot of practice. So it's four hits to get it into... We need to be level with it when we're in it so we can shoot it. Oh, we did it! That bounced off the wall! Oh, Ganon's return was but a step away, Maury. It is not over. Our rights have failed, but uh, sacrificing this body, Ganon will return. Oh, they're sacrificing themselves. Oh no, we've got four, <laughs> four and a half hearts. At least we worked it out though. Well, we didn't work it out. We had to check the, the, the guide, but here comes Gamma. They're sacrificing themselves. Now, how on earth are we going to fight Ganon? Oh my goodness. We definitely need, we're going to have to go and get a potion. Whoa, at least we know what to do now. So from here, it's just a case of grinding it and doing it. Um, destroy all, kill all! Oh my goodness, it's going into two of them. Right, let's jump. Um, is there going to be a way to... I'm really annoyed that our recovery ring isn't working. Um, does that mean the protection ring? We might as well try the protection ring then. Um, 
That's so weird. Right, where, oh, okay, whoa! Yeah, that, oh, the protection ring's working. Can we just dodge attacks and hit with Master Sword, maybe? Wow. I'm not sure the thing is working. Oh, no. That is crazy. Okay, potion time. Right, it's going to take a little while to get rupees. Um, where's the best place to farm rupees? In Seasons, there was the... Whoa! That's definitely helped. Can we have that again, please? Could definitely use more big rupees like that, please. Is there a ring that in just increases rupee drops other than doubling them from enemies? Probably is, but we just don't have it. So we know what to do now. So I, I don't know if Ganon's going to have multiple forms. But we're getting rupees pretty quickly. We should be able to go and get another potion. Head back through. We could, should be able to get through if we concentrate the first stage without losing a heart. Now we know how to do the Twin Rover True Form. We should be able to get through that with minimal loss of hearts because well we've we've worked out kind of trick for it as long as we dodge and as long as we're in line on the final hit yes another hundred the game knows we want the potion um as long as we're in line on our final hit we're lined up ready to shoot the seed that's definitely key to, to completing that form um, it's funny that the game knows we're after rupees, isn't it? Maybe at this point in the game it's just higher. So anyone walking past is like, oh, Link is angry, he's destroying signposts with his sword. Yeah, if we could get this done in the next attempt. That's going to be crazy. But I don't think we were. It's going to take a few attempts to get Ganon as well. Okay, nearly there. That We got there pretty quick, actually. By the time we get to the graveyard now, if we just keep going in a straight line, we should uh, get enough by the time we get to the graveyard. So we'll just make our way there. Oops. Wrong exit. So yeah, this is this is where I'm not a good Zelda player. It takes me so many attempts a lot of the time, especially with the bigger bosses. Here we go. So we've made it to the entrance of the graveyard. Um, we should be able to get through here. Wasn't that way, was it? So when you have next to no rupees, the game gives you a couple hundred rupees pretty quickly. Which is going to be... If that happens all the time, it's going to be key to finding <laughs> potions enough. Or enough potions to defeat Ganon. It's a shame we can't take two potions with us. Right, there we go. That was pretty quick. What was that, like less than five minutes? OK, 
Okay, uh, now that we know how to defeat Twin Rover, it's just going to be a case of dodging Ganon. We're going to have to remember when he does that big blur, he's about to strike with like a scythe. Um, I think Ganon's just going to be defeated with the Master Sword, isn't it? It's not going to be anything... We're not going to have to pick him up or anything, I doubt. Right, how do we get back again? There's always a chance of getting a potion in between from the witch as well. The more enemies we destroy in between the battle, the more chance on the way to the Syrup's potion making shop that we'll actually bump into the, the other witch. Maple and get a uh, potion. Right, these are looking left and up and down, so we need to go right. Uh, these are looking up, down, and right, so we need to go left. As soon as you see three directions, you don't even need to look out elsewhere. So this is down, left, and right, so we can go up. Right, down, that says up. So I'm probably making no sense with just randomly saying stuff, so this is left. But you know what I mean. Um, this is right. This is such a clever thing. I'm surprised this hasn't been in the game before. This is back left and now it should be up. I haven't actually counted how many steps it is, but... There we go, we found it. Right, let's see if we can at least get through most of Twin Rover without losing much lives. If we could get to Ganon with, say, half of our life and then the potion, that would be really good. But it's just luck, on the ice especially, if we can just avoid as much as possible. It's going to be totally down to a little, having a little bit of luck on our side. Okay, we're going to skip through this because we've already read it. Still would like to know what Twin Rover actually are. I might have missed where they said if they were like, are they just like witches or goblins or something? Right, let's stay in the corner. It's going to take as long as it takes. They don't come- oh, they do come onto the outer tiles. They just don't come to the corner one, it seems. So if we just stay in the corner, it's going to take as long as it takes. It's so close as well. Is there a better way to- I don't know if there's a better way to angle these. We've just got to hope for the best. Oh, that was a close one. I needed to come forward a bit. Oh, how did two of them miss? It's a very strange way to hit the enemy. Because if you're walking around, it's harder. Because at least in one place, you've only got to guard yourself. If you're running around trying to direct it, waiting for them to randomly come at you, you've... there's no way, I don't think. At least for me. There's no feasible way or accurate way to know what way it's coming at you, adjust accordingly, and then hit it in a certain direction all in a split second, so this is definitely the better. I'm glad we stood in the corner pretty early on. Just waiting for two more hits. <laughs> this is funny, maybe we'll just wear them out. <laughs> but this is definitely a good way to get through to the true form of Twin Rover without um, taking damage, even if it does take a little bit of time. How many beams of, has our Master Sword got? Right, two hits. One more hit we need. Oh, that should have hit! Yes, it hit it off screen. Right, there we go. So, true form. Right, we need... We need dodging abilities, so we need our Rock's Feather. So we have, this is the form we need it in to hit with the seed shooter, um, the red and blue form. Oh, I hate the ice. Oh, is there a ring for not slipping on ice? Did we have that? I think we had that. We might have, if we, if we get game over again, we're gonna have to go and check that. That, that would be so useful. Right, was that two hits? Right, there we go. Back in the true form. We're running out of mystery seeds, though. 
Right, that's two hits. We can get a couple of hits in at the start. Oh, we, we fell. Oh! Right, back in. Oh, we're going to have to use these. And then we need to dodge. Okay. Right, one more hit. And seed shooter. Right, there we go. So, oh, we did okay. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hearts left, and then a full potion for Ganon. Um, Ganon's return. Uh, it was a step away, Mori. Uh, it's not over. Our rights have failed, but the sacrifice this body, Ganon will return. We got through that pretty quickly, actually. It's just luck with the slider thing. I think there's a no sliding on ice ring, and that would be so helpful. And la oh, the la there's definitely a lava ring. We'll go back and change that, I think. Although they might not work in this. Right, here comes... The uh, evil demon king, Ganon. We're approaching the um, hour mark. But we've learned a lot. We've figured out. We're getting better. I'm just assuming that Ganon's going to just be... Oh, we might need Pegasus Seeds, actually. might be a good thing. Right. Let's watch his attacks. Oh, what was that? We need to watch out for the big scythe. So here, here comes the big scythe. Okay, we're getting some spin attacks in as well. He's actually... Oh, he comes sideways! Sneaky Ganon! I thought it was just a down one. Okay, it's not too bad to hear. I'm assuming Master Sword damage is working. If the Master Sword doesn't affect Ganon in this game, that would be really weird. Oh, what's happening now? Whoa! Okay, we've got four hearts. Let's see if our protection ring is working. Okay, we've got three hearts. Still got our potion. Okay. This could be it. I feel like we're doing really well. Yes, we have to jump. Oh. We need to be jumping. The Pegasus seeds weren't... Oh, weren't that beneficial. What's happening? Whoa. What's happening here? <gasps> we did it. What was happening there? I was walking against the wall, but I wasn't doing anything. God, I am the evil King Ganon. What is this floor? There's no way that's it. With one heart left. There's no way that was that easy. There's no way. Zelda, wake up quickly before Ganon comes back. Mori, it's ended. Thank you, Mori. You halted the uh, completion of the rites that would have revived Ganon. Since they could not sacrifice me in their final rite, the powers of darkness could revive only a mindless, raging Ganon. Your power, wisdom, and courage were able to prevent Twin Rover's planned resurrection of Ganon. Now hope and peace can return to the hearts of the people. Thank you. You are a true hero. Let us return to the others. There's no way. We didn't even use our potion. Yeah, I knew it. This isn't the end. The castle is crumbling! Now that the powers of shadow wane, we must get out of here. Okay, oh, have we got to get out quickly? Is this another... What do we do? We leave! What's this? The Maku tree. Teleport us out, please! <laughs> Mori, you did it! I knew you could uh, leave, this, uh, leave this to me! Okay, the Maku tree is going to get us out. Whew! Don't forget Zelda after all that. Be awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, there we go. We made it. Welcome back, Maury. Now the world is at peace. I knew you could do it, Maury. And I knew you'd come back. Welcome back, Zelda. And you too, Maury. It's all over, isn't it? 
That is insane. Twin Rover was harder than Ganon. What's that about? I knew you would find a way, Mori. Let us dance together again. Yes, I'm down for a dance. Zelda, I'm glad to see you return safely, Mori. You are all I expected. I always believed in you. I can't believe we had one heart left. I know we had a potion, but it's still a big deal to be down to the final heart there. Mori, the three triangles on your left hand symbolize power, wisdom, and courage. These are the mark of the hero who is fated to appear when peace crumbles in Hyrule. With the essences of nature and time and the courage you possess, you have fought back the powers of evil. The guidance of the Triforce has made you into this legendary hero. Thank you, Mori. Thank you. Oh, we're having a little dance and some little love hearts there. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at the Wacky Tree's face. That's so cool. The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This is just the credits then. I think then... Is there going to be anything after like a cutscene or is that it? Are we just going to get thrown back into Labrina for like to do any more secrets? Oh, what is this? Where is this place? Why is there so many uh... What is that you're holding? Bread? Is this inside the castle gardens? Oh wow, look at the artwork, it's so cool. Oh, it is the credits. We should probably wait in case there's a secret or something at the end. Oh, I know that place, that's near, that's not too far from where we were trying to get rupees a second ago. Uh, oh, look, a little Goron coming on screen. Oh, I love the fact they went to the effort to make this artwork at the time. Like just for the credits, like you wouldn't, I don't think you'd see these anywhere else other than in the credits. That's the oracles dancing. Oh, where's that? I don't recognize that area. Are these these must be like made up areas. So we've got so, just a grassy patch here. We've got the beast that helped us. Is Ricky going to come along as well? There he is. Is he Ricky? I think so. Don't punch us. <laughs> Maybe it's a fist bump. Oh, he was putting us in his pouch. That's so cool. Such fun artwork as well to see. So there we go. I can't believe we managed to do it. We fought off Twin Rover. Oh wow, look at that. A nighttime view of the castle or the tower. And there's Zelda and some shooting stars. So we did it. We got through Twin Rover. It took us three attempts, was it, I think? I kind of lost track of what was going on there. We needed to get a potion twice, I think. Um, so we had to source a few hundred rupees just to get those uh, potions but we it worked and we had to look up how to beat the true form of Twin Rover but we figured out how to get to the true form which was really good and there's Hyrule in the background of the castle that's so cool and then of course Ganon so only two attempts on Ganon that's really cool I haven't cut anything out out by the way um, so you saw all of the sourcing of rupees all of the attempts on Twin Rover and Ganon so I know some people like to see multiple attempts rather than just sailing through and like 100%ing it without even losing a heart. Uh, that's just not me, I'm not that good. Um, so it is nice to leave the test, uh, the, not the testing, sorry. Nice to leave in the attempts, should I say, and, and testing things out on how to actually defeat the boss. But we did get a bit stuck on Twin Rover, but we were kind of on the right lines when, when that mystery seed dropped and then we figured out we needed to use mystery seeds. We just needed a little hint in the right direction that it was only on the true form, the red and blue form, that it would work. Um, it's so cool that the, <laughs> the translation teams are just like, team. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the credits. I'm imagining there's something else at the end. Probably a secret for the linked games because the games are linked, but we just want to double check that for heading back in. It will throw us back into the game anyway so we can get other rings, plant the rest of our geisha seeds and that. All the post-game stuff that you always like to have after you complete the game. But I'm so, so glad that we were able to defeat Ganon. Uh, I'm glad that we had the Master Sword actually. I think that helped a lot because it's kind of like two or three times the damage. Um, bit weird that the recovery heart wasn't working though. Maybe the dark magic or the evil magic was blocking it. Um, but some of the other uh, rings were working. I do think we would have benefited from an ice ring or a lava ring. Didn't even think about that until it was too late. We we're already on the uh, last, uh, our last attempt there before we beat Ganon. So 
That was really good. Um, but yeah, love the artwork of the credits. This has got to be near the end of the credits now. General producers! Miyamoto. Okamoto. That is, this is such a good game. I love Seasons and Ages, by the way. I truly, truly hope that Nintendo remake these. I would love them to announce them in the Direct, actually. Um, that's coming in June. Uh, kind of for the, towards the end of the Switch's life. To have some more Zelda remakes, I just think would be brilliant. I do think this year is the year of the remakes as well. Before uh, the Switch 2 comes out. There we go. One final bit of artwork, I imagine. Is Link saying goodbye to everybody? Where are you off to? You're not even staying in part. Oh, my Switch has got it to sleep. <laughs> there we go. The end. We made it to the end. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that doesn't happen. This is this would be really weird if Link's Awakening was the next game, but it's not, is it? It happens before this, doesn't it? Because that's weird to end on a ship, but then Link's Awakening starts on a ship, doesn't it? That's so strange. Okay. Oh, we do get a password. Let me just take a picture of this, even though we're recording it. So, a hero secret. That's a big password. So, what does that do then? That must go back into seasons, probably. There we go. And it's thrown us back to the start of the game. So, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Um... I do think this would just throw us back into the um, game. There we go. We only had nine game overs. Not too bad. And we made it. Is there anything that shows that we've actually completed it? I don't think there is anything. Is there? That's so weird. Hmm. But there we go. Uh, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm pretty sure that is the end. We've seen the end credits. We've got the hero's secret. Um, I don't think there's much more to do with this other than post-game stuff. We could check out these caves. I don't think we got very far in there because we didn't have the right items. But there's rings to get, geisha seeds to get, so maybe we could do some bonus videos in the future. But for now, I think that's the end of the series. Love playing a Zelda game as always. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, especially through the long episodes. It really, really means a lot, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the last Ganon fight, if you thought I was being silly and it took too long, or if you think we did pretty well and managed to get our way all the way through to the end there. Thank you so much for your support um, and the channel members as well. You're absolutely awesome. Your generosity and support is just incredible. And I'm just so thankful that you support this channel and I hope you enjoyed this Let's Plays. Don't forget to drop suggestions in the comments for the next game. I know there's plenty of other Zelda games to play if you'd like to see even more. But thank you so much for watching Zelda Oracle of Ages and of course Seasons as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.